Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. Um, yeah, we're here for another day for Standard. Um, it's been a little while since I've done Standard. Um, the day before, I ended up doing a limited draft, and then before that, the qualifier plan. So, excited to get back into Standard. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you do like my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours who might also want to subscribe. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back and supporting me. You guys are the backbone, and I couldn't do this without you, so thank you so much. So getting right back into Mono Red Aggro, this was the list that I ended up kind of trying to port over into the um, Alchemy um, Best of One Plan Qualifier. And it actually did okay. I ended up, um, I made a couple misplays, so I think I might have gone a little bit farther, but... I did end up getting 3,000 gems, so that was pretty great. Didn't make it, but, you know, I've gotten some comments that maybe I should kind of sort of explore a little bit more for Mono Red for the next upcoming qualifier. So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing that, maybe doing another video for the uh, the best of three qualifier for the, uh, the last play-in before the qualifier weekend. But uh, at the moment, I want to get back in on ladder. See if we can, you know, get that ranking back up. Currently, I think we're sitting a little bit over 1,400. Um, just been a couple days of uh, not playing, so hoping to get the rating back up. And, yeah, let's jump into some games. Um, there will be a link for the deck list in this description, as well as the, you know, kind of the full list of videos so you can kind of go through if you want to see more of the games with uh, this deck. If you do really like my content and you want to you know, leave a tip, thank me. Um, there is a way to do it. So if you go to the little more icon, um, you can actually donate via super thanks. So if you want to leave a tip, um, I greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to show your support and your thanks, there's another way to do that. And you can do that right in the, um, through YouTube here. So, all right, let's get into some games. Yeah, overall, I've been really enjoying Mono Red. It just feels like it's in a really good spot right now. And kind of just using just a couple, just like a singleton of each of the legends feels pretty nice. Just having kind of some uh, some different options. Um, the Invasion of Ragatha has been feeling good as well. So, yeah, I, I like where it's at. All right. We are in the draw. Um... We do have the play with fire and two of the best one drops, so I'm actually tempted to keep this hand. Um, a little crazy, but I think we're on the draw. We have like three good plays if we don't draw our second land. I think I'm gonna keep. Okay, I didn't end up getting there, but I'm still gonna lead out as if I'm drawing my second land here with Kumano faces Kakazan. And I guess, uh, yeah, that was a great pickup there. Worked out real well. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a means of killing this right away, but I think we want to just get Swift Spear going here. The next turn we can do like Invasion. Um, actually, the other thing I just realized, yeah, it might've been better to run Scapegoat out. We could have pushed a little bit of damage here and would have been able to attack through, so. Yeah, I think actually looking back, yeah, maybe Scapegoat would have been better here. We are going to get the Spell Pump off of Swift Spear, so that's nice, but... So now we have an interesting play. We could go um, just Lightning Strike Push. There's a decent chance that he has probably, like, um, reinforcements here. We could also go for like the invasion on the district hero itself and then push with both. That way if it blocks Kumano, it dies. So that's something we're threatening, getting through some damage on the invasion. Um, yeah. I think ultimately the lightning strike just feels a little bit better. 
We do want to get the invasion off the ground as soon as possible, but this, the previous place feels a little clunky. he takes we've got answers here with either player fire or invasion all right so this is a pretty easy invasion um, he's at 14 so I think we still want to try to flip if we can although the kind of deck that he's playing makes me wonder if we're just walking into like a board wipe here. Um, now with Doorkeeper Thrall, it only affects artifacts and creatures that don't trigger abilities. So I guess these are only going to be four power in total, but let's see, actually never mind. It gets triggered because it's the spell. Yeah, all right. So let's get rid of the Doorkeeper Thrall. Flip the invasion. And this is kind of a hedge because it's like we could also push face there, but because he's got these invasion of Gobakans, it makes me think that there are more creatures. Alright, so now we're pushing six, eight, ten. 12, 13. Actually, no, we've got, I think, 14 with this, so, yeah. If he's got nothing... Alright, we will do the lightning strike. See if there's a response. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, this opening hand looks great. We've got, yeah, Kumano into Scapegoat and potentially Godric. So this is interesting. Like, um, he probably plays like Feldon next turn or something that's a two power to make it a three, three playing around invasion. So we probably just want to go with our own Kumano here. There's a chance that we, like part of my thought process is we might have to um, use lightning strike next turn and lose out on the counter. So that was sort of weighing on my mind. But I guess if we just draw two scapegoats, that works. behind uh, just because you know we're on the on the draw here but I'm hoping that invasion can start taking over the game yeah and if he's only pushing with uh, with his man land there I feel pretty good about it We'll do it on this one. 
Oh, good. I wonder if that, if that uh, if it triggered on both of them or just if we just lost it on one of our scapegoats. That's nice. Okay, so let's get rid of the check since we've got the Kumano active. And I think that we do not want to give this, uh, yeah, th there won't be any flyers there. We want to make sure we're able to block if we need to. So we'll just decline there. We'll save that for Godric. Although we're certainly not going to block here if he attacks. And if he has to spend two pieces of removal, like, we're fine with that. Alright, we do have to be a little cognizant of our life total, but we can just sort of do that again. And take out his Kumano. And again, we're going to decline here. So yeah, just because there's a possibility of being burned out, if he gets a fifth land and pushes for the 4-4 Mishra, I think we might have to block. Like, we've got enough in our hand that we probably just... Like, that's the only way we lose this game. If he attacks, then he's representing... Uh, monstrous Rage, which will make it an X5. So if we don't block and he has Monstrous Rage, he's pushing 7, we drop to 2. Then we can kill it next turn, make sure we leave back enough blockers. Yeah, I think, like, the problem is, like, we die to a top deck burn if he has this, if he has exactly Monstrous Rage here. And we can for sure kill it next turn if we don't. But again, I'm just worried about being super behind. Although we can't kill it next turn if... Actually, no, we, we can kill it with Lightning Strike plus End of Festivities. I think we've got to respect it. Since we're at 9, I think we have to respect this here. So if he has the blowout... We need a land, though. Okay, thank god he's only got Lightning Strike. I was worried he had the Monstrous Rage. I was thinking, yeah, we would need a land to get Lightning Strike plus End of Festivities to kill it main phase on this turn. Luckily, we don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, let's just go... I think we just hold up Lightning Strike for their Foundry here. I mean, we could push with Scoundrel also. Actually, you know, I kind of like the play of making Scoundrel... And then getting a, a treasure token, just to ensure the Godric. Um, no, I don't think we suspect. And then we'll just leave that up for next turn. And now I think we just push. And I think we just chump if they decide to attack next turn.
If we can time walk them for just like a 1-1, one, one, that's fine. All right, so they've got Codebreaker. Either Codebreaker, I suppose, Pyro. Yeah. It's always nice when people say hi. If it was one of my viewers, even cooler. Yeah, this hand is great. One thing I'm wondering here is like if he plays like Warden on turn two and makes it an X3, we might have to Lightning Strike it. So as much as I want to play Kumano first, I feel like I might have to play Swift Spear this turn and then Lightning Strike depending on what he does. Yeah. I guess if he doesn't have it though, I mean, that's the only thing is like losing out on like the little counter. Hmm. Still pretty good next turn. I think I just play Swift Spear here. Just because Warden can spiral out of control. Like I think if I didn't have the Swift Spear like as like a almost good play, um, almost as good play, I would just do it anyways. All right, so he's representing reinforcements. So we could swing in with a couple two threes. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think we just go Swift Spear plus Kumano this turn. This way we can trade like Swift Spear if he wants to triple block for some of his... Uh, I don't think he does, though. I think he just makes guys and doesn't block. Yeah, there's the reinforcements. So he's probably trying for, like, Night Errant this turn. This is pretty nasty too. All right, so they're pushing for eight next turn. Yeah, I think we just go Feldon push. Suppose there's an argument for like holding back the Swift Spear so they can't just like two shot us. I mean, there's probably like more stuff they're gonna play too, but I'm just trying to think like if they draw so like if they draw a recruiter, that's four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen. Yeah, that's exact. So I think we just attack with Feldon. Yeah, there's the recruiter. So that would be exact lethal if they if we didn't hold back Swift Spear. Let's get rid of the white creature, I guess. Four, seven, ten, thirteen, yeah. Festivities is great. Not sure that it does enough though. So they're still gonna be pushing in. I guess we can take a hit from Inspector and not die.
We could also make some tokens. That's another option. Um, I think festivities is pretty good. Actually, we could festivities and then also Sokens in by playing another Sokens in to have enough mana. We could also lightning strike the recruiter, but I kind of want to save that to go face. Hmm. So we've got five, six, nine. Yeah, not quite enough. All right, so let's start with festivities. Okay, now we've got enough mana for the other Sokens, and I think we just do that. We need to block Recruiter. We can take a hit from Inspector. If they have another Recruiter, though, we could just die. I'm trying to think what else they could draw that would just get us. Like, if they have, like, another pump or, like, a case, does that kill us? If they have pump, we need two blockers. If they have case... We, yeah, we, we only need two blockers. So I think we just... Um, I think we just leave back two blockers and we're fine. Because they would need like case plus something else to get us. Yeah, recruiter does it. That's so they 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 would need exactly recruiter to get us there. So I suppose if we held back Kumano, that would be the yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, we could have played around that. That was just thinking, like, what are the chances that they have, like, another Imidane's Recruiter? But I suppose we could have played around it. Oh, well. All right, let's take a look at the stats. All right, so we are currently at 73% uh, win rate, 36 wins, and 13 losses. So still pretty happy with the deck. Um, some of it certainly is pilot error. I mean, I'm... I'm not the best player, but um, I do make mistakes, but I'm decent. So I think that, you know, um, it's going pretty well. Really happy with it. Overall, 77% against Mono Red, 78% against Boros, and 100% against Mono White, 75% against Blue White Control, um, and also against Demir. 100% against Mono Black. Uh, Rakdos is still uh, not a great matchup, looks like. One and two. And then, um, yeah, a little bit uh, like Esper. This might be like Esper mid range, can be a little rough. Slezny enchantments, but good uh, matchup so far against Gruul and Golgari. So, yeah, really happy with the deck. And I'm thinking about doing, um, if you guys would like to see like another. Uh, standard event see if we can go like uh, 7 0 or 7 2 or something like that um, With the deck and just see how it performs. So let me know if in the comments if you guys would like to see that um, As I, I I really enjoy those events also, but I you know my, my primary goal is to try to hit top 250 for the end of the month So anyways, hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for being here